Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike that I personally am most excited for. Got a massive update to the free demo you can play on Steam, including 32 new items, two new traits, aka characters, four new weapons, in addition to a complete overhaul of many systems in the game and quality of life and balance improvements. Just a massive patch for a demo that basically turns this into an incredible free game uh, when it already was one. But in we're going to go here, there's there's now weapon combining, there is weapon sets, so you can get set bonuses, all of that. But unless, if you, if, if you enjoy games like Vampire Survivors, uh, 20 Minutes Till Dawn, anything like that, I really urge you to check out this game and give it a chance here. It is impeccable. It is so, so good, and it is a, it is a demo, and it is already blowing things like that out of the water, in my personal opinion. Uh, but alas... Let's go ahead and just, we'll go in with the well-rounded trait for now. Five max HP, five harvesting, which is a new stat, which does, uh, we'll, we'll look at that in the battle. Let's figure out what weapons. Hand was added, wand, lightning shiv, cacti club. These are all just standard weapons we can go for, but remember there is now weapon combining, so we can combine two wands to get a more powerful wand, stuff like that. Speaking of, let's go for the wand. One damage, two critical, does three times three burning damage. I mean... Last time we played this, the uh, burning builds were not too great. However, I'm curious with a balance pass and a, like a big old overhaul if maybe that's not going to be the case. I would love to kill this tree to get this extra loot. There we go. Pick up the gems. Here's the thing. If you do not pick up the gems, it is not the same thing as uh, missing experience in other games. It goes into a little bag here. And it makes it so the next eight times we pick up experience, we get twice as much. So it's not gone, but you can't fall behind too much. Uh, accuracy up, but a range down. That's... I don't know that I want that for, for this weapon. What's range... Okay, so it's like a flat range amount. I, I say no, probably, right? Uh, but yeah, it's easier. It's cheaper to reroll. We can lock now. There's li like a little bit of an almost auto chess kind of element to the game now. I don't really want elemental damage down because I imagine that burning is going to be elemental damage. Uh, let's hit it with a reroll. We got another wand. We could combine. Do we want to combine? I feel like combining is probably for... Uh, well, I mean, let's get a pistol. How about that? Combining is probably for when you want more slots, uh, but let's do it. Five times four burning. We got a one level two now. We can also recycle things, but I, <laughs> we got a wand in our, our left hand and a gun in our right. Harry Potter's gotten dark, man. <laughs> Expecto gun. Okay, so we have, this is kind of interesting. We sort of want to, as much as we can, Aim the gun at enemies that don't have the burn on them. Because otherwise, it's kind of going to waste the burn damage to an extent. Okay, short wave. Get the go. Get it, get it, get it. Go, 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 go. Okay. Went through a little bit of a risky route. Uh, so you may notice we have this right here as well. We basically have this normal level up that we go through if we hit here. Then we get the choice of a stat perk. A more basic kind of stat perk. HP regen might be kind of nice when we have none, but elemental damage just seems like the right way to go when I got the gun. Uh, max HP up by 4. 4% 4 dodge or 12% attack speed seems like the way to go. Elemental damage up, max HP down. Let's do it. Let's do it. I also love how your little dang brotato man gets actual uh, elements added to his face, everything like that. I feel like that's something that's missing. It's almost that um, the Binding of Isaacian kind of thing where you slowly create a cursed mutant based off of your build that you've been working on. Oh my god, we need something that'll spread this burn. I think that there is something in the game, or at least there was. There's so many new items that I don't, e like, I don't even know what's in anymore. Oh, oh, scoot, scoot, scoot. There we go, we got that extra HP. That's what that little weird clump thing is. Uh, right there, that's left on the ground. That's just HP. HP regen up, lifesteal down. Currently, we have no lifesteal, which is your attacks have a percent chance to heal you for one HP, is is basically what it is. It's not like a, the more you have, the more life you steal. I, I like this implementation of lifesteal. So it's basically you have a maximum of 10 health back per second, which is a lot of health when you have 13 health, but... I think let's go with HP regen. 
Here's the thing. Base damage is maybe not that exciting for us when we have elemental damage, like our damage over time. I don't think that applies. Maybe it does. Your attacks. I don't know. I don't know if that applies. Okay. Uh, hit me with a little bit. Uh, I feel like a little bit of speed will make it so we're less likely to take those hits. A torch, a melee weapon here. So also, what is this? It's an elemental weapon. Sure. Also, you know what? Let's combine the gun. Again, it probably makes more... Yeah, that's right. Uh, when we start getting getting more guns and weapons than we have hands, then things get a little bit silly. Just, it looks like the little plant on the top of our head is carrying that there. Oh. But again, yeah, th there's so many interesting things that were already in this game that made it really appealing to me. Like, the level of silliness and run variation you can get, and the amount of different characters really make it so runs truly feel very different from each other and all of the changes that they've made to this demo uh, i have to say they do blobfish has made to this demo really really prove that that is going to be an important integral part of it is uh making sure you have this player autonomy there's no meta progress there's none of that you can win your first run you can make it if you make the right build you can make it happen but the more you play the more you'll understand the basic mechanics uh, what is this? Chance to heal 1 HP when you pick up a material. Is a material... Is this material? Yes. Earn 5 materials and XP at the end of a wave. Okay, so that's what harvest is. Minus 1 ranged damage. Here's the thing. I th think that's fine. 10 harvesting. It feels... Feels stupid to pass that up. Armor might be kind of nice. Range damage. We are in the negative. I could get that just so it goes back to positive, just in case I've really like messed it up. But I'm pretty sure that the um, the wand damage largely comes from the burn, which is what I would like to focus on. The big question is whether or not percentage general percentage damage applies to elemental damage as well. I don't think it does. If it's based off of the last demo, my inkling, then it, I don't think it does. Armor is pretty good. Just lets you reduce the damage you take by one. It goes a long way. Crit damage. Damage down. Get a knife. I kind of want to go for a reroll here. Can elemental damage crit? That I don't know. We're, we're going to have to just... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Primitive blunt. I don't know what the, uh, what the bonuses do quite yet. Ah, elemental. Two weapons. We have two elemental weapons, so we have plus one elemental damage. Burning spreads to a nearby enemy. So worth it. Unarmed and support. Do I lock? I don't think I lock. I could get primitive. What does primitive boost give me? Two primitive gives us five extra max HP. I would kind of like... Uh, I mean, it's tough because I think there's already a lot going on with the UI. But I would really like an, or, uh, an auto chess style like... You know, the little squares that have the, the pips in them, the little dots, so you could hover over them so I know what's coming up next. I know this is just the... Oh, we are looking... We are looking mighty wild. I know this is just the first implementation of it and everything, but, uh... Oh my god, that would be... That always sends me. I love it. That being said, figuring out a clean way to implement it into the UI would be the trickier thing. Uh, but I, I think it'd be worth it. I think it would be worth it. I think knowing, oh my god, what's coming up next would be great. But yeah, I mostly have the rock for that extra 5% a or 5 HP. Oh my word, this is getting dangerous. I'm hoping this burn is spreading. We are doing, I'm seeing a lot of ones popping up. So I'm thinking that we are doing that nice clean one damage still. So I think I was right about the range damage. It maybe reduces it. It would probably reduce it from two to one, but it's not going to reduce it from one to zero, if that makes sense. All right. Oh, no. We're in hell. We're in hell all of a sudden. We're in hell all of a sudden. Get that HP. Get that HP. Oh, that's a lot going into that extra thing there. Range could be lovely. You know what? Let's do range. HP regen. 2 HP every 5 seconds. So is it just... Yeah, it's 4 HP every 5 seconds now. Unarmed, I don't have that. Living booger. 
two HP regen, minus one HP from recovered, uh, recovered from consumables. I'm gonna say no. Taser ele is elemental. Slows enemies in a radius around the projectile. I'm definitely getting that. I, what's my speed at? Minus five percent. That's fine. We're still, we're still net gain. Affected by fifty percent of range damage. Ah, okay, that's that's nice. Wheelbarrow, plus fifteen harvest thing, minus one armor. I do like little muscly dude. <laughs> I like that a lot. So three elemental gives us plus two elemental damage. Gotcha. I mean, do I get gun? I can always sell it. Okay, so the gun boost gives us range. Okay. Gun boost is is range. I was worried that it was gonna be ranged damage, which. Unless it's flat range damage, I don't think I would particularly care too much. My big thing here is I, I, yeah, I cannot tell if burn can crit. That would be great intel. I will say the burn build is feeling like it's, uh, it's holding its own a little bit more than it was last I played. Which is great. I think that the addition of the wand is, is helping a lot. Also, the addition of the set bonuses to give us elemental damage. Oh, my son of a gun of a gob. Oh, this is not good. They spawn exactly where I wanted to go. There we go. Picking up that HP. Looping on in. Picking up that HP. Okay, we got the tree. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. Danger. Danger. All right, we still got a bunch there. Melee damage up, max HP up, but we do take a penalty of 15 range. I don't think we can do that right now. I want it. Plus two elemental damage. Let's go. Torch. If we buy this, does it auto combine? I don't know if I want it to. Elemental, four weapons. So we do have four elemental weapons. So that's the reason to have them separate here. 10 max HP, but minus 5% dodge is nice. I have no dodge chance right now. I have zero, zero dodge chance. Okay, so we sacrificed the five HP when we lost the primitive buff there. But we gained this extra 10, so we're still a net gain. I'm looking to pivot my build mostly into the elemental kind of a uh, situation here. Oh my god. Oh my god, get through there, get to the middle. More fire spread would be amazing, because I things are not dying quite fast enough right now. They're not quite dying fast enough. Oh yeah, see that? Like, we're hitting enemies with our attacks, but the burn is not killing them fast enough. For ah, shoot, I'm going over there. No, that's where I'm going. Dude, that's where I'm going. They're not spawning on me, but boy, they're spawning in my way. Oh my god. This is this is looking grim. I'm looking grim. Okay. Get it, 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 get it. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. God, it's tight. Uh, attack speed up sounds really nice. We need... Ooh. Oh, if I re-roll, I... Oh, no, I don't know. If, if I re-roll, does it... Do I still get epics? Oh, no. I still get epics. I'm not sure. And I still don't know if elemental damage can crit. I'll go with the armor because it, it is nice. Uh, plus one material when hitting, killing an enemy with a critical hit. I think I could take, let's, you know what? Let's do this as like a little bit of a risk. I think I can take that penalty. Oh, we lock here. Oh, we, we lock all, we want all of this. Am I locked? Which one's locked? That's locked on. Oh, we want... I'm just making sure it's locked. We want all of that, man. We want all of that. So, it's going to spread further. I feel like I maybe should have gone with something that was... A, uh, the one that was a little bit more uh, beneficial for helping us kill a single unit faster. Like, our single, single target DPS is bad. It's not very good. Our single target DPS sucks. That being said, when we kill things, we kill, we kind of kill an entire group at once without even having to, you know, really focus in on it. 
Like, the spread damage is fantastic. Oh, this is not good. That is not where I was hoping that would spawn. There's such a big clump in the middle I would love to get to, but I'd have to walk into extreme danger to get it. This could be it? I can't tell. Oh, God, that spawn. Kill the tree, kill the tree. There we go. Good, 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 good. Killing the tree gives us the big old patch there. Attacks have a 25% chance to deal 9 times 3 burning damage, and they pierce through an additional target. A again, this is really good for... Are we locked still? Okay, I don't want to be locked. Locked on? Locked off. Okay. We are not locked. Good. I don't want to be. And I think we... I don't think we combine our... Uh, our torches. Unless we find another elemental. I don't think we combine. In fact, like, I really don't think... I, I think I'm right in the sense that... Ooh! That upgrade was noticeable, man. Look at this. I don't think you combine... I don't think you combine until you have a full slot. Uh, especially if you want to go for an elemental build. I think having two low-quality ones is going to be better than having the one high-quality one. For now... I bet you it's a... Here's the thing that I think is exciting about this game is I think that it depends. I think it's a case-by-case -case basis. I don't think this is a case of just pick ice every time and you win. I, I think it's... Like, is there... Are there going to be builds that are more, uh, you know, reliable and easy to win with than others? Sure, but you still have to go with the whims of RNG. That's why... Uh, well, that's why I like auto chess games and auto battlers. It's about the same drafting element that roguelikes go for. Uh, let's go with luck. What does luck do? Chance, a uh, higher chance of finding items or consumables. Yeah, sure. Attack speed. Um, gain 10% of your materials at the start of waves, but minus 10 luck. Oh, that's interesting. Same thing. Let's go for that. If we can find another thing to merge. I'm good with those. I don't want to lock anything else. Uh, but it, it's going for that kind of element. But you have to really roll with where RNG takes you. Like, some days, you know, a run want, you want a run to be uh, a melee build. But then you you see this just this one thing that makes it clear that you just high rolled. You got very lucky to get... Um, you know, a perfect melee run or a perfect elemental run when you weren't going for that. Like, that kind of a thing. That being said, you can also tunnel vision. Clearly, like, I, I wanted to go for elemental and I, I made it happen, though we did have to do a lot of rolls to make it work, but... Yeah, and we're definitely dealing with some of the penalties of this build, which is the fact that we don't kill any one thing particularly fast. See? Like, we do... We kill lots of things kind of fast but we don't kill any one thing fast enough to get it off the board. We could have uh, we could have tunneled a little bit harder, or like we tunneled hard into that, but we could have like branched off to do something uh, a little bit more solo focused. Like we could have, you know, maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of my gun. I think that actually maybe was a problem, having that direct damage. Or we could have gone mage, you know, plus eight elemental damage, attacks have a chance of burn. Like this is just kind of what it's made for. But there are two characters that were added that are uh, are a little weird. What do we got here? Pacifist. Oh, wait, is there two? Yeah, two new traits. Ten harvesting. Gain one material for every living enemy at the end of the wave. Minus 100% damage. What the hell, man? Plus 5% damage until the end of the wave when you take damage. One armor. 10 max HP, 5 HP regen. Interesting. So he literally doesn't do damage unless he takes damage. That's fun. I like see, I like that. One thing I, I love is how truly wild some of these perks get. They they are not afraid to change up the game. It's not just like 10% damage, 10% more enemies. It's 30% damage and literally 50% more enemies. That's this is such a small thing, but it's ludicrous. 200 plus 200 percent so 3x xp gain but shops are more expensive means that you are going more for raw stats they 200 attack speed all gun damage is increased by 100 but you can only have one gun like there these things are wild one armed actually might be pretty good now because you could really tunnel into one and you could combine an upgrade i'm gonna try out pacifist taser 
slows down enemies or even more harvesting. Let's go for the hand. So does this just push? Okay. So this is literally, they added this weapon literally as a get off me move. Get off, get off. So how much do we get for every alive enemy? Run, 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 run. We're gonna want speed. We're also gonna wanna kill the trees. Like a true pacifist. More harvesting. Attack speed. Attack speed could be nice because it means more push. It also it makes me afraid that we will kill. Uh, crit damage, fist. No, I don't want that. What does this upgrade give us? Unarmed gives us 5% dodge. Support gives us more harvesting. I mean, I'm happy to get... I'm happy to get these. We gotta be careful. Again, we, we don't want to kill. Not real. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm a murderer. Like, we don't want to kill, but we also are gonna... We're gonna need to kill some. Unless we just get all hands and terrible damage. Like, that's kind of what we want to do. Is just... We want six push hands and no damage. Like, we don't want to scale our damage even once. I don't know if I can kill these trees, though. I'm trying so hard to kill the trees. Even more harvesting? Sure. I mean, luck probably would be a better idea. Uh, HP regen minus lifesteal? Sure. Cacti Club. What is this about? Hitting an enemy spawns three projectiles, dealing one damage. Equal to, like, have, they, that's also affected by your range damage. That's really nice. So it's a melee weapon that is impacted by your range damage. There's absolutely a use case for that. I'm going to reroll one more time. I love that rerolls are so much cheaper. Plus 5% damage, but 10% extra uh, enemies. We get one material for every living enemy, though, so... Sure? This is... This is such an interesting character. We literally... It's so smart to have added this character. Like, it's completely different. Okay, get off me. We don't want to kill. If I truly don't want to kill, that, I just go for a burn build. <laughs> No. Alright. More more pushing. I would love to get this tree. So bad. But again, my damage is really bad. I don't know how reliable that's going to be. Go, 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 go. Get off me. I can't I can't kill the tree. Like I'm trying so hard. I can't. I can't. <laughs> he's so bad. He's so bad. As he's supposed to be. Uh give me max HP. <clears throat> Range could be okay. Armor. Armor sounds lovely. I'll take another taser. More EXP gain. I don't know if that is worth the range down right now or not. Taser 2. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared we might start killing things. We might... Okay, so it's an elemental weapon, but it does not scale off of elemental damage, which is good. That's good for us. Slow down. Also, you know what? The range down is actually not problematic. Look at how well we're able to clump these guys up into a big old circle and then do nothing about it. Look at, look at how clumped up they are. Can I kill this tree? I don't know. If, I, don't, I don't know if I have the capability of killing the tree. That's... Uh, <laughs> oh, they're both right here. I like. I think I die if I go for the trees. I genuinely think I die if I go for trees. <laughs> Huge. Um, armor? Yeah. Huh. I think we can do better. I wouldn't mind speed, and I don't- it's starting to get expensive. Another hand? Another hand? Harvesting up melee damage down? Yes. Also, pog mouth. Oh, we're looking good. Alright, so, there we go, there we go. Keep him alive, keep him alive. Just dodge, just dodge, we want- Cool. We've got good knockback, though. 
we're gonna get to the point where we probably want to start merging it yeah merging hands and merging our the tasers everything like that uh-oh 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 Ooh. taser's nice though holy crap holy crap oh this is this is getting rough man i don't know do we need some damage do we need to kill do we need to kill some how is this going to work? Oh god. Oh this I see bad I see bad things in my future there. Okay. Five, four, three. Alright, we're good, 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 in the corner. Woo! so how does lifesteal is they have a percentage chance to heal you for one. So it doesn't matter how much damage they do. Attack speed sounds nice because it's more likely that we can get them off of us, though. Piercing damage up. What's my dodge at? My dodge is at 10%. Ah, let's skip. What's my range at? My range is at zero. It's at flat. I'll go, I'll go one more. Okay combine that we can combine these to make an epic laser an epic taser epic taser we can we can and i i may i may go for epic taser and two commons that might be kind of nice if i live like things are getting very scary Look in the middle there. there we go it's hard to uh to parse exactly man i hate seeing experience on the ground I can't believe I did a murder. It's hard to, uh, to process where we're going to have to dodge when we push enemies in our way. Oh, my God. Like, we literally push them in front of us. Luck is not... I, I'm realizing luck is not too good for this character, probably, right? Because if it helps us with our drops... What if I told you we don't get any drops because we don't kill anybody? Uh-oh. Ten more seconds? This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Hit me with the regen. Hit me with the regen. Hit me with the regen. Oh, son of a gun. How am I alive? I'm going to go with attack speed. More pushing. Item pickup range. It's irrelevant. Speed minus luck. Sure. Again, like luck, not that important. If we're, if we're never killing anything, not that important. I'm not really picking up materials, so that's not relevant. I will go with a little bit of... Uh, flat HP. We got the we got the epic taser. I think that uh, I think that it's okay if we have to take oh my god, this is not good. If we have to take a little bit of attack speed. I think that that's a worthy a worthy pickup. Yes, we might accidentally kill a couple, but I don't think that we will still. Like they're scaling up. They're getting stronger. Oh boy. Get through, get through, get through, get through. Man. Oh! I'm a pacifist. No. Please. Make love. Not war. Make alchemy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Four. Three. So far, so fine. So far, so fine. Oh. Good. Are you serious? This is all damage. Okay. Ooh, that's great. That's great to know. Uh, it, it, we maybe that was just lucky, but we did re-roll it into into that there. Uh, twelve percent dodge for the penalty of one armor, and it's perfect the amount of money we got. Sure. Uh, one times three, faster fire rate, bigger range. Why is it one times three, five times three elemental damage? Oh, is it on a crit? When it crits, it does elemental? Wait, no. I'm confused as to what that 5x3 with elemental damage in the parentheses is about. Because clearly something on this weapon will scale with elemental damage, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head right now. 
I can't I can't tell. Either way, I'm fine because I don't wanna like I don't wanna do it. Maybe it literally just means it does it does scale with elemental damage. We're, we're just not taking elemental damage, so it's hard to know. This is gonna be sketchy. These dodging boys. Kill the tree, kill the tree, kill the tree. I I can't I, it's it's a lost cause, man. It just happen has to happen by chance. Has to happen by chance. Oh, you're doing yeah, alien hominid looking sons of guns. Yeah, you. Yeah. Please, oh, it's just not possible. Tree is the final boss. This has actually been an easier wave. I think it's because maybe those units are not as bad for us. Uh, do I need more harvesting at this point? Like we're getting pretty far. I think that maybe going for attack speed to make sure we're gonna be okay. Lightning shield. Hitting enemy spawns lightning projectile that bounces one time, deals one damage. I'm gonna definitely take coffee, and I think I might actually lock alien magic. So yeah, because I'm not I don't kill enemies, so luck is irrelevant. It's a it's a nice stat. Whenever you play this game, I find that it's good to have a stat that you can tunnel vision um, removal for. It's nice. It's nice to find a stat where you're like, I don't care about that stat on this run. Either because it's A, irrelevant, or B, not as relevant as something else. Or C, it's already in the negatives, and you might as well. I, I find that that uh, is a very handy thing to do. Oh my god. It's like, find your find your dump stat. Oh my god. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Holy moly! I, I decided to change my direction. Oh my god, and of course the big boy spawned on me right there. That's not good. That's not good. Not happy about where that big boy spawned. Oh, he spawned on top of me, man. What am I going to do? Let's do one more here. What is this? The Masochist is the new one. 5% damage until the end of the wave when you take damage. One extra armor, 10% or 10 max HP, 5 regen. Minus 100% damage. Okay, so this is, whenever you take damage, this kind of is speaking to me as a close range kind of a build. What is the one and the five? It's not the critical because the critical says it does eight damage. Is that at like max rank or something? This sounds kind of fun. Let's go with the Cacti Club. So we kind of want to be hit a couple times. Okay. Now we should start to do damage. How much... Wait. Does it say how much... We have 5 HP regen. So getting down to uh, 15 is kind of optimal. Man, I love how different this character is, though. Alright. Alright. Max HP sounds good because it means that we're more likely to be able to take hits. 5% damage whenever you take damage. Uh, so getting a percentage damage down like this is not that relevant. I'm going to lock this because I do, I do want more enemies. Oh, look at this go. So yeah, we want to take damage in the first little bit of the wave. And we just want to make sure we get a lot of uh, life steal. Man, it's a completely different run. See, this is what I'm about. Like, I don't like it when, you know, just like a different flavor of the exact same thing. This is fundamentally working differently with the game mechanics. Like, fundamental complete difference. All three runs that we've done right now, complete difference. Uh, I could go with HP regen instead of life steal. I'll take it because it's one and one. We might as well. Oh, shoot. Does that. I guess we don't want to reroll. I thought that it filled the slots. Okay. Danger. Danger. Get out. So what is our regen at? It's at eight. Eight is our threshold. 
If we get to the point where we one-shot enemies, then we don't want to be taking more damage anyways, though. We also need, um... I think we need range in addition to this. Also, if we see health drops on the ground like that, we should go for them. Meaning that luck is probably going to be really, really nice. Okay. Man, we're, we're going to just die because we accidentally just go over the limit here. Uh... Yeah, 4%. Ironically, we don't really care about damage. Ugly Tooth. Hitting an enemy removes some of their speed. I don't really care. Uh, heavy. What does Heavy do? Heavy, oh, heavy gives us damage. I don't really care. And I don't care about this either. Come to me. Like, it's funny. The things that we got last run would be terrible for this run. Absolutely terrible. One more damage. As long as we can heal back up to full on our regen, we should take more damage. We want to run right through. Oop. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. A little bit of HP there for us, though. How much are we doing? Quite, quite enough. Kill the tree. Kill the tree. Take some damage. Kill the tree. Okay. I yeah, just a lot of watching that my HP bar to make sure we're going to be fine there. Kill tree. Fast, fast, fast. Good. I don't care about speed. I don't... Does melee damage come in after the fact? That makes him do an additional flat four damage, apparently. I don't really want dodge either. Crit chance, though. Crit chance is is very relevant. Uh, I want to know what the... I want to know what the knife buff is. Uh, crit chance. Knife is crit chance. Crit chance will be good because if we scale up our damage, we still... It's... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Uh... They came to fight now, finally. We need more armor, because if we're going to be taking that much damage... What do we have for stat? Does it say? I'm st oh my god, I got stuck. Oh my god, I got stuck. Yeah, they're doing a lot more. We, uh, we really need to make sure we can scale properly there. I, I don't think we're doing it. Let's take all the hits where we're by the health. Okay, let's get it. HP there. Oh, God, I was trying to take hits. I'm trying to take hits and get the HP back. Okay, right, there we go. Now we're doing good now. We're doing good now. We got it. We got enough hits that we've scaled up to this whatever threshold. Uh-oh. That's not good. Kill the tree. Kill the tree. Kill the tree. Thank you. Nice, nice, nice. Item pickup range... Uh, I don't want that penalty, but I will take it. Uh, no. Man, fine. Luck sounds nice, though. Melee damage. I kind of want the max HP. Primitive gives us HP as well. We could... Combine, take the stick. I'll take the little muscly dude. Range is not like super, super important to us. What's our dodge at? We have no dodge anyways. Uh, three extra HP recover from consumables, 10 extra luck. That's worth, that's worth for us right now. I don't like the, uh, the HP penalty we took. Okay, take a little bit of hits. Is there somebody else we can take damage from that's not as scary? Those guys. There we go. Alright, what are we at? What are we at? Okay, we get the plus 10. Trying to find the right guys to take damage from. There we go. This, <laughs> this run is turning out so weird. Like, I want to run into the right guys. Like, I want to hit those guys with my face. Tactically, it's working out best for me to do so that way. 
that way. Okay, this, that got scary. That got scary. Just we got to figure out when to pivot from taking damage into into running. It's a tricky. It's a tricky fine line. What the hell's the trees, man? I need armor though. Like that's what I. Like I almost needed enough that we. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sad. One percent life steal. Sure. Sad. Do I need harvesting at this point? Man, I want armor so bad. Like, I need the armor stat. Is genuinely what we need today to make this run function better. But again, maybe we should maybe we should pivot. Okay, yeah, see, like, when we get hit, we get hit right now. That's bad. Health come back, health come back. Baby come back. Not good. I don't have speed. Okay, there we go. There's a health pickup. Thank you. Well, they're spawning all right there. I mean, the pickup radius is so nice. We're starting to do damage, but we need, I think we need a gun. Right? Like, I think we need a gun on top of this. I don't want dodge! I don't want dodge! I want armor! Oh my god, luck might be okay. We have the pickup range, we might be able to get fine. Ah, oh, it's not what I want though, it, it really isn't. Primitive, we lose 5 HP. Or we could just go this, this. Armor? Armor? I do not have harvesting, so I'll, ta I'll I'll go with the lifesteal. Oh, we got some bad wings now. Don't really want to get hit by those guys. Oh my god, see, yeah, we're... We, like, can't take the same hits now. Not even close. We're not regening fast enough, or or we don't have the armor. Yeah, we're maybe dead. But we need to take hits, otherwise we do zero damage to enemies. Oh my god. The luck was such a clutch get, though. I think that um, that plus our range up means that we're killing enemies, they're dropping health potions, and we are able to pick them up. Even though we're not in there. Oh, that's where I was. That's where I wanted to go. Okay, let's go in for the health. Yep, 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 yep. Health pickup build. Woo! Valid as hell. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> Terrifying. Super knife. Uh, let's just combine it into super duper knife. That being said. That being said, I don't know, man. What do we got? Okay. Gimme. Give gimme give gimme give damage. Gimme damage. Gimme damage. Ah! <laughs> Woo, boy. We're pushing it. We're pushing it. Like when we get to the point where we can't like go in to take intentional damage anymore, you know that we are we've lost the lead on this build. We need to be able to go in and take some intentional damage. Like, a little bit. Okay. I'll take a hit or so. Okay, we can take, we can take a couple hits. There's a HP pickup here. I did not get the hits that I wanted. Tunneling into the trees is a good valid strat as well, I'd say. I'll pick up. When we're right at the end, there's no reason to go for intentional hits anymore, though. Like, right at the very end. Fine. 
No. That's the opposite of what we want. My man, I just want some armor. Why is it so hard to find? Oh, my God. If I live. I don't think there's a, a knife rank past this. Not yet, at the very least. I don't think that there is a rank past... I just can't... Yeah, I just can't take damage right now. Uh, finding... Th this character, I think, finding armor is good. We should have pivoted into some other mentality. Like, either maybe... I mean, like, I kind of tried the hard tunnel onto HP regen. I don't think I should have taken Sad Tomato, because I think that that... Is what led me to think the guy was fine right there to just go in and take damage, but then I was like, oh yeah, sad tomato. Uh, very fun. Oh my god, I, I, it's just, it's so good. Such a nice one of these, you know. Uh, lots of neat balance changes, everything like that. The full game is gonna be like, it's just gonna have more. It's gonna be longer, everything like that. Uh, and it truly is the kind of game where like adding a new trait shakes up everything, like everything. You saw that. Like, the Masochist means I played it completely differently than I played the Pacifist. Completely differently than I played this. Completely different than you played the One-Armed. Or Loud. Or Dumb. Crazy. Chunky. Like, all that stuff. Incredibly, incredibly cool. Alas, alas, though, I think that is going to be doing it for today for Brotato. If you guys want to see more, if you'd like to see a mini-series out of the, de the demo, like, I was thinking of doing it before. Uh, and it's more likely to be good a good series fodder now you know because it's just more there's more in it i don't know it's so good i can't believe that this is a demo you know this demo is more impressive than so many full-fledged games that i uh, that i play in this genre genuinely i'm so excited for it i think it's really there's a lot of variance there's no reliance on meta progress you can just jump in play make a stupid build see if, how far you can go and now there's a lot more options there's just a lot more ways to do that uh especially with the new uh the weapon combining and the weapon sets there's just so much to do but alas alas that is that there's gonna be a link at the top of the description to pick up the game for yourself in demo form i don't know when it's coming out i don't know if, i don't know if bloodfish knows when it's coming out yet uh but i think it's gonna be yeah there's no no release date yet or no release window but i'll tell you what it's basically a full game already like yes there there can be more i hope there's more like uh enemy variety zone variety even if they're just like a reskin or something like that uh you know just could be fun uh things like that but i'm so excited so so excited for brotato and the direction it's going uh i liked it before i love it even more now check it out it's it's the best arena survival game out there genuinely in my opinion uh, but alas alas this is uh, the end of the video <laughs> my name is retch major covering the games and more every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes if you enjoyed this video if you enjoy this game this is a channel that you should be subscribed to if you saw this and it spoke to you this this game it spoke to you very directly it's so up your alley then this is a good channel for you, especially if you aren't typically like that big on, you know, arena survival games because of certain reasons. And you saw this one and you're like, this one clicks with me. I like this one more or I like this one a lot. This is definitely going to be the channel for you. I this game resonates with me so much. I will cover a lot of things that channel this kind of energy. So make sure you subscribe to be notified when great stuff like this comes out. Things worth showcasing, things worth uh you know, bringing to the public, not just another run-of-the-mill, son-of-a-gun clone. Like, something that's doing something genuinely different and interesting. Alas, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye!